Yeah, no one's having a tough phase. Do you think he's broken? No, I mean, it's just normal toddler stuff, which happens to be awful. I need a break. Yeah, I need one too. <laughs> I know you need a break, but we're not talking about you. We're talking about me right now. I'm just saying, everyone's tired. Everyone needs a break, okay? But we're actually very lucky people. You have a thriving business. I know we're lucky, okay? but I'm allowed to be pissed off about the fact that I'm doing everything I can to calm him down and he's still just impossible. What are you eating? Peanut butter. With what? With a spoon. I don't think that's healthy. No, but I, um, I can't have carbs during daylight hours anymore. Since when did peanut butter become the only thing you eat? It's not the only thing. I eat hummus and um, I eat wine. Have a sandwich. Enjoy your life. <laughs> sandwich? What am I, some fucking king? I'm not successful enough to go around eating sandwiches all day. Are you crazy? And also, if I have a sandwich, that means bread. And if I eat bread, I'm going to get sleepy and take a nap instead of right. So. How is the book coming? It just needs to be funnier. It's hard to have a book about an only child not be super sad. Well, let it be sad then. I mean, people need to cry. Let them cry. I still need an illustrator. Is that what you're working on now? Well, now I'm actually working on scrolling Instagram to see which lesser talents got book deals today. I think you need to start meditating again. When am I going to meditate? I'm up at like 5.30 every day. See, there it is. There is nothing. Nothing at all. Okay, I'm just saying. I get up early, you handle the later stuff. That's our agreement, and I'm fine with that. I mean, you weren't raised Catholic, okay? You wouldn't understand. I have to pay in early, suffer greatly, and then cash out later. Okay, well then we're raising him atheist because this is a mess. Ugh, I have to go. I look like ass. Who is it today? Armenian couple. We're choosing flatware. They're super rich and have horrible taste. I should be back before he's up. Well, you look great. I have an ugly face and I need rhinoplasty. You're not the one who's getting fatter every day and everybody knows it. Who? I see the way the fucking mailman looks at me. This whole goddamn neighborhood's talking about my recent weight gain. Watch a show. Take a nap. When you look at me, do you want to throw ammonia in your eyes? <laughs> That's not funny. Because it's true. Love you. If I'm late, I'm stopping to get a lower face lift. All right, keep it tight. I will, I'm trying. Just put your head in a vise. Hey, Laszlo. You doing reception today? Yeah, Sonia had a call back for a play. Oh, cool. What play? It's about a squirrel who predicts the apocalypse, but it's also a opera written by a computer. Wow. Time Out liked it, so. Are you okay? My uncle's mad at you. Oh, is this about the SAT? How did it go? He's very but you waste all the practicing. <laughs> hey, Victor, what's going on? What's going on, he says. You fucking up is what's going on. Oh, um, I'm sorry, I'm still catching up. Do you see this gym? These machines? Do you think I like this gym? Uh, the smell mean... of rubber and conveyor belts. You're very athletic, so I think... No, I'm very smart. I see New York. Yeah. And I see shit weather. And I see crazy people walking around eating cupcakes the size of a small child. Yep. And I'm thinking, these people need to work out. So I'm looking at gyms, and I'm seeing gyms, and they are filled with many, many people. So my dream, to build a gym for one. All these machines, all this rubber, just for you. Oh, like a specialty market. See, now I'm very rich. Right. You understand? Definitely, yeah, very. But this money, this is not life. Here in the Ukraine, I help build machines, build rockets, 
I send the machines to the stars. Wow. Wow, he says. The little puppy says, wow. Do you know how we send machines to the stars? It's not with wow, it's with numbers, it's with mathematics. I'm really fucking good at math, you see. You're okay. Just so you know, Laszlo can take the test again. Okay, you get two more chances. All right, you know, I mean, we gotta start somewhere, right? So, so we can start here, but then, you know, end up there. Just like, like a rocket to the stars. I would coach him myself, but... I get too mad at Leslo. <laughs> I hire you so I can get mad at you. <laughs> How bad was it? We scored 680. 680? That's great. Are you kidding me for the first time? What, do you think we're some low standard American frat boy? Did you say frat or fat? Do you have any children? I have, yes, one child. He's only two. But you want more, children. Well, actually, I think for our lifestyle, one works pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> I keep doing the wrong thing here. I have 14 children. You do the myth. Jesus. 14 kids and nine dogs. So am I getting fired here, or? What is the reciprocal function of cosine? Uh, what? This trigonometry. This question you fuck up for Laszlo. To be fair, Laszlo is the one that took the test. I did not. I am simply a guiding hand. So guide your hand up your ass and find the answer to the question, what is reciprocal function of cosine? Uh, uh, uh. I can't hear you. Uh, secant. Secant. Eddie. Have to breathe another week. <laughs> Leslo, bring my fucking car around. We're going to church. Um, no, Victor, to be fair, he's he's a really good kid. You know, you shouldn't be too hard on him. I need to be hard. You're a soft man with only one child. You do not understand discipline. <laughs> well, uh, I was raised Catholic, so I do understand guilt. I was raised by criminals. I understand the guilt. The 1984 Olympic trials. I fall off pommel horse. My mother, she takes me behind the Colosseum and shoots me in the knee. And I say, thank you, mama. Did you get to see LA at least? If you fuck up this test for Leslo, I will fuck more than just your knee. I will fuck your heart. Do you understand? I understand. Good. Liz, look. Church. Thank you.